Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com with 2024 Bowman Chrome Baseball HTA Choice 12 Box 12. Pick your team 12. There's the case right there. Big thanks everybody here for making it happen. Appreciate you. Dave Barrows with Rockies Astros. And Cardinals, triple last spot mojo. So thanks to him and thanks to everybody once again for getting it on break 12 Monday the 16th. There's the case. Jimmy, I don't know why that Evan Phillips win did not come a day earlier. You lost your playoff matches because you forgot to pitch last week. Unbelievable. Well, Evan Phillips may lose the Dodgers a playoff matchup in the in in the playoffs this October, so that might that might make you feel a little better if that happens. All right, away we go. All right, here's Thyron Lorenzo. Nice start. That'll be for Adam Kelly with my Dodgers in break 12. Yeah, as did I. I had a couple slumps on the hitting side of things that didn't. I'm in the playoffs, but it's like a month long playoff, all September, roto style. And I'm, and of the five teams that are in the playoffs, I'm like fourth in the standing. So Nick T with the Nats gets the Victor Hurtado. There is Demuri Pena, 213 out of 499. I wish I had, I had Clark Schmidt for, for another month. I feel like if I had another month, I feel like I would have gotten a couple guys healthy. And I would have put together some... I put together a decent run, but that just didn't, just didn't happen. All right, we got Carlos Sanchez. Miami, that'll be for Oliver and the Marlins. Yeah, I had Gavin Stone too, him going on the IL hurt. Um, I had, uh, I picked up Ryan Weathers off of, off of waivers. He was really starting to figure some things out. He put together a handful of starts where he had was striking out a ton of dudes, going deep into games, but he also got hurt. He was out for like a month and a half. There's a Heriberto Rincon, 26 out of 99 for the Mets. That'll be for Joe. Joe Saldana with the Metropolitans. And there's Luis De Leon, 002 out of 150. Orioles, Matthew. Right, and at this stage of the season, the fantasy season, it's impossible to really find replacements. This is also the time of year where I'm saying, I'm never playing fantasy baseball ever again. Why do I spend an entire season creating a fake team, hoping that I could put together 
some real numbers. And then give it to the end of, give it, give it to Super Bowl, and then by then I'm like, huh, I'm ready for fantasy baseball. There's Abraham Nunez. It's for the White Sox, that's for Ken. Here is Yoiber uh, Okopio, 22 out of 99. Green Lava for Adam Kelly and the Padres. And we have some purple. Yes, some purple. Andres Valor, 125 out of 250. That's for Oliver and the Marlins. All right, another box. Chris Sharp saying fantasy baseball greater than fantasy football. Ali, I do like fantasy baseball a lot, I have to say. It's a grind, but if you love the sport, which I do. We've got a redemption coming up. Blue card redemption. There's Marvin Alcantara. Red Sox, D.Y. Right, yeah. Takes a lot of weekly luck out of the equation. More of a season-long thing. There's Yolfran Castillo. Nine, uh, 493 out of 499. I've also... I've also uh, haven't done a, a draft, like a snake draft in um, in fantasy baseball in years. I just do an auction league, so I think that adds another layer of challenge because now you got to figure out, you know. Uh, yeah, I like Aaron Judge. How much do I like Aaron Judge? How much salary is he going to make on my fantasy team? And is that worth the price? That and I do that with football too. But then week to week, it's, it's, it's luck. All right, blue parallel. Chrome rookie autograph, blue parallel. Jack Leiter for the Rangers. Rangers, that's going to be for Adam Kelly. Yeah, auction is extremely, is not extremely, but auction is challenging. If, if you've been doing a, a redraft league for a long time that you just do, you randomize who gets first pick, blah, 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 blah. Like, if you want an, an extra challenge next year, I would really think about, think about an auction league. And so, then it's not just, you know, whoever got lucky and got randomized the number one spot or, or whatever. Thank you, excuse me. Thank you. All right, excuse me, I sneeze, hit the sneeze button. All right, we got Braylon Brazoban for the Pirates. That'll be for Joe Lawson. There's Joffrey Solano, 008 out of 150 for Oliver and the Marlins. We'll, be, we'll send him an invite to Jaspie's autograph camp. That's an interesting way of doing it, Jimmy. I think I remember you telling me this. You have seven keepers, but for every keeper, you lose an early round pick. And there's Curly Martha to 499.
Adam Kelly with the Rangers. Wow, Bobby Witt has 200 hits. Got 200 hits today. So the big prospects, and you, know, you drop everyone, try to get him, right? Try to get him in the early rounds. Would there be any player like that next year? Caminero, maybe, unless someone already, someone must already have Caminero, and we'll probably keep him. Does Otani get 50-50? He's stuck at 47-48. I think after after this little stretch, the do after playing the Braves, after playing the Guardians, Cubs, and Braves, I think their schedule gets a little bit easier. There's Mario Baez, Atlanta. Christopher with the Braves. There's your uh, Yoiber, um, Oko Okopio, Okopio or Okopio. Twenty-three out of one hundred and fifty. Either way, that's going to go to Adam and the Padres. And then we've got a. A Shedri Vargas, 215 out of 499. Refractor autograph for Adam Kelly and the Rangers. Nice, Adam. You have Kevin and Dominguez. You drafted them this year, though. Had them on your bench. I was a little surprised they didn't bring up Jason Dominguez up a little bit earlier than I thought they would. And they kept sticking with Verdugo. Yeah, we haven't seen that Padre in a minute or two. So my Dodgers are playing, are at Miami for a few days. Could be a good chance for Shohei to get a couple homers, get a couple stolen bases. And then, and then the Dodgers come back home this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Rockies. That could be a great chance for Otani to get 50-50. In front of the home crowd, There's Jose Perdomo, he's a bit of a showman. There you go, Chris, Chris Sharp on the board. We got Johario Cuevas. That will be for Joe and the Mets. Yeah, it's probably the right the right decision, Jim. There's Rowdy Rowdy Rodriguez. 88 out of 150. That's for the Halos. That's going to be for Mark. Duncan's getting a kick out of the stat that show he's currently having the 11th best season of Barry Bonds' career. By, by what metric? Maybe a wins above replacement? 
Imagine Shohei with steroid power-ups. If Shohei had steroid power-ups, he'd be pitching. You know, because a lot of things, especially with the pitchers who got popped for roids, they were saying it's less for strength building, it was more for just recovery, not, not, you know, more for recovery and just being able to grind through some injuries. But, um, but yeah, I feel like... There is Yandel Ricardo for the Royals, that'll be for Kyle. No, Tani might be pitching. There may be less pitching injuries with steroids. It's Fernando Cruz, 92 out of 150. Cubs, EA with the Cubs. It's on the internet, it must be true. Right. And for the Dodgers, we got 111 out of 250, Elias Medina. Back-to-back -back Dodgers for Adam Kelly. So here's Purple Chrome Dodger, Elias Medina. And there's Jerron Elkins. Another Dodger for Adam. But yeah, yeah, as Jimmy's pointing out, that bonds that bond season does that include the does that include how many starts he made for the Giants or the Pirates as the case may be? What his pitching stats were that that season? Here is another Fernando Cruz for the Cubs, EA. And that's Jaden Calderon, 141 out of 150. That's for Ben Smith and the Phillies. And I don't know if Gavin's listening, but I think we he was asking if we pulled any Phillies in break 10 or break 11. I think I did pull... One of those guys. The Calderon, now that I think about it. There's a another Jose Perdomo. 239 out of 299. Speckle autograph for Chris Sharp. All right, three boxes to go. There's uh, Pascanel Ferreris, Astros, Dave Barros, one of his last bought Mojo teams. And then we've got a uh, Giovanni Rodriguez for Joe S with the Mets, the Metropolitans. And the third and final one here is Vladimir Asensio, two twenty one out of four ninety nine. DY with the Boston Red Sox. All right, guys, two boxes to go. Good luck. Maybe we'll have some hits for the hit list. Maybe some cherry on top to the teams that have been hitting. Let's find out.
faith in their traditions. I don't know how we fix it. Sister wives? Oh yeah, I've heard that. There's Jose Castro, Yankees. Aaron with the Yankees. We got Stone Russell. That is for Kansas City. Kyle Harper. Kyle with Kansas. And some Jerron Elkins. 441 out of 499. Refractor autograph for Adam Kelly and my Dodgers. There's another three. And another box. Met for you, Ediberto Rincon, going to Joe Saldana. Met, not, not a bad break for the Mets. Second auto is we got a little bit of color. Nice break for the Dodgers. We started with this guy. We're going to end with this guy, Theron Lorenzo, Green Lava, 38 out of 99 for the boys in blue. Adam Kelly with my Dodgers. That's who they, that him and a couple other players who they sent for uh, for Jack Flaherty. All right, the last one is a speckle autograph. Yafri Solano, 256 out of 299. That's going to be for Oliver and the Fish. And there you go, gang. That's it. Another solid break of 2024 Bowman Chrome Baseball HTA Choice. Remember, every team you buy in breaks one through 20 of this choice that we have on jazbeescasebreaks.com, you get an entry to win a Shohei Otani one of one Superfractor from Top's Finest. So check out the details on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.